Looks like we got another batch of comics. Of course we do. Lots of DC stuff. Valor, full set, 1 to 23. There are Adam Hughes covers in there. Conjurers, set 1 to 3. Uh, Crime Syndicate, 1 to 6. There's some first appearances in there, minor as they are. A Power Girl, Lobo's first solo series, Final Night, full set. Zero Hour, uh, first appearance of Jack Knight, who is Starman. Awesome series by James Robinson and Tony Harris. And there he is, full set. Equinox, uh, first appearance of Equin Equinox as well. Valor, oh, there's one of those Adam uh, Hughes. Um, Thunder Agents, full set, six issues, and some unexpected. Like I said, we're doing weird DC stuff. Um, Threshold Hunted, one to eight. Um, Trinity, one to 52, all by Kurt Busiek and Mark Bagley. It um, has some really great Jim Lee covers in there. Uh, Trinity, one to two. Yep, going to tap that. <laughs> Triumph. Some stray uh, Batman, Superman, Trinity, Wonder Woman. Sorry, all three. DC logo. DC Universe logo variants. We got three of those. Too bad we didn't have number two, but we got one, three, and four. EC Comics are so expensive, um, but these 90s reprints, you may as well go for them because the old stuff is really hard to get. Um, Dark Horse is collecting them slowly into... To, oversized trades like magazine size um which we do carry but um these 90s ones uh high grade they're they're not easy to find i wouldn't say that but we had a box in the back we got some of these annuals um that collect multiple issues but yeah um these sell really well for us so i'm happy to have found this in the back um jack davis covers uh jim craig um you know them uh, Clayton Crane cover. Oh, it's Pichalo, 1 in 25. I wish we had that for the signing. A couple of first cameo appearances. Kale News variant. Um, there you go. Um, there's a little production crease on that. Carnage, full set. Zeb Wells, Clayton Crane. It's a fun one. Crossed, of course. Some Betty and Veronica. Ghost Spider, G.I. Joe, IDW. We love getting these in. Some Masters of the Universe. Uh, Robert Kirkman wrote those origin issues. Expanse, full set, 1 to 12, and Garth Ennis' A Walk Through Hell, 1 to 12. Not an easy set to put together. Frank Miller's Ronin 2, 1 to 6, complete set. And uh, some Disney, Hercules, some variants. There's going to be some Lilo and Stitch in here. There you go. Lilo and Stitch sold really well uh, at the conventions this year, and we sold out completely. Hey, Adam Hughes, J. Scott Campbell, uh, Archer, <laughs> uh, Perillo. Um, the second print of Spider-Man Reign is a tough one to get, but now we have it. <laughs> um, these voiceovers are weird for me. Hades, full set. There you go, Disney stuff. More of it. Let's keep going, though. Disney, Disney, Disney. More Hercules. More Lilo and Stitch. All right, Stargate. Um, we don't sell much Stargate unless we're at a convention, so, uh... Maybe we'll bring it to London Comic Con uh, in two weeks or a week and a half or whatever it is. Haha, ha, if you're into the horror clown dark stuff, there you go. Second print and a little pocket of Invincible. What else do we have here? Power Fantasy 1, first print. The third print is coming out. Joker Mask. Didn't have the full set. Uh, that's exclusive to Art Germ's store, so that's kind of cool. And uh, John Carpenter wrote this Joker, blank cover. Jim Lee cover for Grifter. We did a bunch of Grifter stuff, and uh, we put some sets together. Um, there's a run by Image and a run by DC, so that's volume one. Here's volume two, one to 14. And we have all the issues if you're just needing to pick up stray books from the DC run. We also have a uh, full set of it. Rob Liefeld co-wrote and uh, did covers to uh, an arc. And we got some second print variants there. And there's the full boat right there, DC. And we got more, Green, uh, Green Lanterns, plural. Um, a lot of these issues we didn't have in stock, and I don't know if we've ever had them, but uh, there's a couple of Lupacino variants, but most of them are the A covers. A couple of minor uh, first appearances in here. The notice by our sticker saying first appearance. There you go, there's one and another and another. Look at that, three issues in a row. What else? Um, 
Uh, Earth 2, yeah, we put out a bunch of Earth 2. First Balzod in costume, and it's the bombshell variant. Got some of those um, lenticular 3D covers. And um, this is the series that reintroduced Alan Scott as a gay man, so in issue number one has that uh, going for it. Second print variants, there you go. What else, what else? Oh, Silencer, yeah, told you, weird DC stuff. Couple of first appearances in there. Uh, John Romita Jr. covers, number one has Silencer's first appearance. And uh, there's a foil cover. And, um... Yeah, is this it? Nope, Mr. Terrific. See, I'm doing these voiceovers, I have no idea what's going on. Mr. Terrific, we have two to eight. We didn't have number one to make the set. One stars and stripe. This has to be the last pile. Demon, uh, Hell on Earth, one to six. Um, number one was VF, but the rest are near mint, so there you go. Katana, one to ten. David Finch did the first couple covers. The Ravagers, zero to twelve. There's a Dale Keown cover. And uh, Tony Daniel did a bunch of these, and they're quite nice first appearance of this version of Damage, and the original series here, number one has the first appearance of Damage, uh, the original, I guess, uh, a couple of stray katanas, there should be a David Finch cover, there you go, and Dark Stars, um, the first appearance in the first issue, uh, Strowman, oh, some cyborg, Strowman, known uh, for doing X Factor and Tribe for Image, he did some art on here. Um, Mike Divad Jr. did some covers. And, uh, yeah, but we have the full run. Uh, 1 to 28 or 38. I can't remember which. Probably 28. And um, Guy Gardner ends up joining this uh, team later, later, later on. And that's it. Comics.